Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs as well as my new growing growing uh extended beautiful soul family thank you so much for the love and support it's truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and um uh -oh, i'm sorry if you have uh watched my videos for a while and are comfortable you know enough please drop me a line or two i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi if you feel like the video gives good vibes and you would love to share the vibes with other people so they can get the vibes too please go ahead it's truly appreciated um and i'm hoping you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the uh content of the the subject of the video today is like twin flame 101 hey okas keep your guard up on your energy and your frequency is much too precious to be tainted it is true it's like um i was it was a video i shared the other day it was like the, and a matter of fact i made a video of my own uh my own uh perspective about what he was talking about uh, i forgot what the name of that credit is because i usually love i usually when i credit somebody else i want to make sure i um i say it but i know i gave him a credit when i showed the video the other day um on my uh what was it on my youtube my youtube shorts uh it, it was like your 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 vibration your time your energy is very critical you know and crucial that you you want to be able to guard it you know if it's your house you put you know security uh security on there you know the ring bells you know um uh security cameras alarms on your cars you know different things like that on your phone you know they want you to be able to do that the same as well as you know i did the, the subject about the focus but now it's about you know you have to make sure you guard your focus you know make sure your focus is always on something that is prosperous to you the things that's going to help you grow is going to magnify into another level of your uh consciousness and these are the things they want you to be able to make sure you you guard you keep your guard up on your frequency as well as your energy as well because there's so many different things out here i don't know how I don't know why, you know why, but there'll be certain times where people are going through their own time of healing and, and it'll be like, I guess it's between God and the devil as well. Cause you know, there are certain people we will stick out like a sore thumb. It's like, Hey, that person I've been through some toxic stuff while we go in here and rock the socks off and add more trauma to their life, you know, and it'll be something the devil sees because he doesn't want to see you grow. He doesn't want you going towards the next level, even though you're at that next level already. Now is your subconscious is matching up to that level that you're getting uh, connected to. And those are the things that universe will use that to to be very trivial to you but it's also helping you learn about yourself too are you going to jump into these standards because you know it's impulse because you may not like the situation you're in you know everything seems so good to be true and usually that's when it is you know because if you in a situation where you're tired of going through things you know you're tired of a financial struggle you're going through different things with your relationships and this thing may be you know you may find somebody who's trying to talk to you trying to get to know you a little bit better or you know whatever and those uh those different things um it could be you know it's not a good thing i've been in relationships to where i got out of one and i didn't want to feel the healing that i was going through because i was going through grief and all this other stuff and then you know i met somebody that they were vibing on the same thing i was and just looking for companionship and then the next thing you know that mess was toxic as hell <laughs> you know and i was just like uh-uh you know even when you know i get some call and texts they was like no way and hell i would never do that again but now it is just like i'm i'm glad that you know i get it people are like you know rosalind you don't want to get to know you i want to take you out i want to do this i want to do that and it's just like i appreciate that but that's not i'm not looking for that you know i tell people a lot especially here i get it a lot either out in the street or i get it here hey rosalind i want to get to know you and i said as long as it's on a friendship spiritual level 
That's all I'm looking for. And it, you know, and it's not trying to be mean and throw somebody in the friend zone. But I'm still, my life is too complicated. You know, I'm not trying to add no more complications, even though folks are not complications. But I'm not trying to add on something I know it may be a 50 50 chance I'm going to have to heal from. I, no, I'm good. I don't, I don't need to be doing that. My life is like where I'm focusing on me. That if I date anybody, it's going to be me, myself, and I. You know, the three me trio. <laughs> you know, that is just, I'm just not going to do that. But it, it's just like you, your, your essence is so precious. They don't want you, you know, tainting that with something that you don't know what it's going to bring towards your life. If it's universe sending you that way, then that's good. But if it's something that you're doing based off of your fears and insecurities, that's, that mess is going to come back and bite you. And you don't want to do that. I tell people real quick, think with your head. Not with your heart, with your heart, especially if you you still in that wound of your heart, you know different things like that. Um, sorry about that, y'all. I'm um, going through different times of that where you're really needing to allow yourself to get that access of that new new within you. Um, and, you know, it's just like allowing myself to see my achievements, allowing myself to see the things that I went through in my past, and appreciate that and show gratification and you know gratefulness of these things that I went through even the things that you know a situation or people put me through that wasn't really good for me it still was something I needed to learn within myself and allowing myself to you know it's not telling you to put a wall up but you need to be very solid with your boundaries you let that mess be you know very very healthy and they want you to be able to recognize the different things that's coming on. You know, if you've gone through some toxic vibrations in the past, recognize those vibes and when they're coming back up. Allowing yourself to say, you know what, when, when you know you make peace with different things in your life. And you're allowing yourself to move on. Because a lot of times it's like out of sight, out of mind. You know, if you, you're not dealing with certain people, certain situations anymore. If it's coming up because it's allowing you to heal. Or there will be different things that you may not have been able to be in that right vibration. And receive something that was happening on the back side that you didn't, you know, that you were unaware about. And they're allowing you to know that. But then it's just like, okay, we allowed you to notice. This is what was going on when you had that question on what was going on in the mix. And this is what took place. And you're like, aha moment. Don't allow yourself to sit there in that emotion. It was just a need to know basis. This is this too this is already past. Allowing yourself to know that. Put that mess in a situation where oh, okay, I appreciate it. This is what took place. I you know, I allowed myself to uh, learn from this situation, learn from those individuals and allowing myself to move on and make peace with that. Um, and it's like make peace with the part of yourself, you know, you're allowing yourself to go through that, you know, when we're going, working on that, that vibe of forgiveness and stuff like that, we are allowing ourselves to, we're allowing ourselves to actually appreciate what all these situations has brought to our table. It was all a process of learning. You know, it was all a process of learning about ourselves. You know, there would be so, so many different things I used to think about, and it used to hurt me so, so much. But then when I allowed myself to go through that, that grief, you know, you're always going through a grief process. A grief is not always a person that is passed on, but it's a grief of a person, a part of you that has died, that is no longer existing in that vibration, but just appreciating that. You see where you have gone to. There is a lot of times we, we have gone through things and we can be very embarrassed and shameful. And they're telling you, don't do that. You know, you had to go through that experience. You had to learn. You didn't know exactly what you know now. You've learned so much from that. Because there will be certain things I'm like, oh my God. You know, especially when I was a little kid, I used to do little crazy stuff for attention back in the day. You know, when I was like, girl, stop doing that for attention. Or somebody will tell my mom, you know, she wasn't doing these acting out, you know, because she needs some attention in her life. There will be certain things that she didn't know I went through. And then when I start noticing those different things that has taken place in my life and it was just like, wow, you know, these are the things that I was looking, you know, if I felt like I wasn't getting the love and attention, you know, I would act out in front of my mom, you know, when I was younger and she would be that one that's giving me love. But when certain things would happen, it would be, you know, it wouldn't be exactly the way, you know, she thought it was, but 
you know, I had to learn and live from that, allowing myself to love myself, even when I felt like I wasn't loved at certain times, allowing myself to appreciate what that burden has brought to me that was very prosperous, allowing myself to support myself through those minds of situations that left confusions of others. You know, you're going through all those different things where you're, 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 uh, what is it, not uh, micro, right? Mic, I think it's like micromanaging, you know, from your peace, from your upliftment, your learning, you know, your discernment, your mindfulness, all these different things is, is coming and is being purified. And when it's happening, that mess can be very intense because a lot of times it's like when we're doing the purification within our lives, mind, body, soul, spirit, you know, earth, wind, wire, fire, water, you know, it's like all those different things. You know, you're going, you're, you're going through these different things and it can feel very intense, you know, very intense. And sometimes it's like you're going through this healing journey and that healing journey is no way, shape, form easy. You know, you go through different, you know, you're going through different elements of emotions. You know, you can be happy one minute, sad the next, depressed the minute, ready to end everything, ready to end everybody in it. You know, it'll be all on those different things, wanting to be in solitude or you felt like you, you were in the need to be around others. And this is at that time where God and universe is really telling you, focus on yourself, focus on your needs on what you're having your needs on growth not needs to be around people not needs to you know because a lot of times we go through things especially if you're just now ending addictions you know it's so easy to fall back in that habit and they're telling you train your mind of discipline you know how many times i crave a cigarette and i'm just like i'll pop a peppermint in my mouth or i go meditate or i go sing or i'll go dance you know and trying not to allow myself to get back you know into a, oh, another habit to support that habit so it's just like all these different things are taking place to where you know you're seeing things your triggers are coming up you know whoever and whatsoever is triggering you a lot of times you know you're triggering them for them to trigger you so it's all about learning you know on the introspect you know it, it's just you're just really trying to allow yourself to really um you know let let yourself really be heightened in that moment because it's just like everything is heightened anyway you know especially with that new moon that just passed when i was just like oh my god i'm reading more up on that stuff and i said it makes so much sense on why things were happening because it's like your your gift switches are like full blown it is just when i tell you it is like you getting the gusto of everything and that mess is still heightening within you you starting to see things in a different way you're seeing auras you're seeing colors you know you're communicating with animals better than you were before you know people like you communicate with animals like that trust and believe me i mean i'll be seeing stuff that goes around in my surroundings and i'm like did this just really happen? You know, I'm like, yeah, it did. Or, you know, I have different animals that will come up and be so compassionate with me. I was telling y'all a few days about that, you know, about that uh, dog the other day that happened. And it was it was so beautiful, you know, because I've never had a dog that came up and it was very protective of me that didn't know me. And all of a sudden, it, it, just, it was just my protector. And, I, I mean, I really thought that was beautiful. So it's just like you're going through all these things and they're telling you, you have to really be on guard about your energy and frequency, even being selective about, you know, things that you're, you know, you're going through. Because it's just like a lot of times we can get in that fixed habit of getting angry with people. I've been there, you know, and a lot of times we get angry with people, we keep on wanting to voice our opinions to them. They heard you the first time. They know. A lot of times they just don't care or they fixated on their stuff like, uh-huh, all right. <laughs> and you have to be able to do that. And a lot of times we get upset because we expecting people to be in a certain vibration in a certain way. We want them to be a certain way. You can't force anybody to be any kind of way they don't want to. Okay, you're, so you're on that vibe of healing and it remind me of what Beyonce said. It's like even though you're in a, a situation where you're healing, you're growing, you're seeing better, you're speaking better, you're moving better. We can't criticize the other people to choose not to. And I had to really check myself on it. I'm like, ooh, okay. You know, all you can do is just pray for them folks. You know, you can't be judgmental towards them. I, I mean, I had to work on that every day because there'll be certain things that'll come at me. I'm like, look, you know, because if I light into that, it's the way I want to. And I'm just like, you're healing. You're not healed. 
<laughs> don't allow yourself to go in that vibration. It's not worth it, Seely. It's not worth it. Maybe go back to the color purple. It is not worth it. So you have to understand, accept people for who they are. If they don't want to heal, uh, just pray. Just pray for them. That's all you can possibly do. Pray for them. Learn from them. Because it's just the fact is, there was a point in our lives, and I had to remind myself, do a very self-check. Put myself in check. And that's when you know that you're really going through a change, when you get tired of your own bush. Okay? You tell yourself, oh, I'm, the next person to walk out my life, I'm walking out my life with me. Because <laughs> I'm tired of my own stuff. You had to be able to know you were at that point where you didn't want to heal. And there will be other people that's coming into your life trying to check you like, hey, you know, this ain't healthy with what you're doing. You know, you need to really understand what what is this that's going on in your life to make you want to keep acting this way. What is it this? And you had to get to that point where something drastic it, a lot of times it don't but there's some people shoot stubborn I'm like a brave heart stubborn soul <laughs> you know you, you, you go through those things and then something had to really hit you hard for you to see that you can't keep going like that your mind was like you deserve better you you, in a, you need to be in a better place a better head space all these different things in your life you need to make better choices for yourself you need to pick better people to be around you know different things that you're allowing to be into your life and then when you're doing that you're making your life has always been precious but you had to go through that to receive to understand where that change you need to initiate at and for those things to be able to happen you you giving birth to a whole new you and when you're going through them growing pains and the birth pains you go, you're going through it you see the highs and the lows of yourself you see the times where you want to give up there'll be times that you want to take easier routes because this stuff is going too hard it make you feel like you're suffocating in your own oxygen it is just really at that point but they're telling you 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 know be very selective about what you choose to entertain be very selective about what you're bringing into your life because see God and universe commends you for your your healing even though you may not feel like you don't got too far baby you further than you actually realize and it's just all space and time things are moving so fast you don't realize it and it make you feel like you're in spiritual stillness and that's what it makes feel you know you you're in spiritual stillness but it make you feel like you're just in a standstill put it that way and you're actually not but then it's just also god's going to test you just to see how much you learned about yourself but you devil gonna test you too because he see that potential like hell to the no no if that person lonely or whatever oh they they want them somebody in their life to love them adore them and this and this and this and that they bring somebody to you and be hitting you up everywhere every time you turn around that person be coming up at you like dad this must be a sign you better pay attention to that sign because that sign is just to say, you, you know it's just going to be are you going to fall for that bait or are you going to be your own checkmate <laughs> you know i'm like oh, i'm gonna be my own checkmate Choo, I'm, I'm good you know or you you know you you may be going through a financial situation and you got this job that's wanting to pay you well and pay you this and pay you that and never know this, this, this it could be a company that's corrupt or it could be something that's opening up and it's going to make you feel in certain kind of ways it's telling you because universe is telling you just wait I understand what you're going through. I, I put you in that battle. Just wait. You know, you, you may be in a situation where you're trying to find a job. You're putting in applications. You're seeing different things. They're saying you're hiring. You place them in there. You still ain't seeing nothing. Or they tell you overqualified. You're underqualified. No, you qualify for what God got for you. You know, and a lot of times it's going to dismiss everything that you got that you've been trying to do. And they're telling you just keep waiting. By allowing yourself to keep waiting, learning, appreciating, showing gratitude, being grateful for yourself, being grateful for the God God and everybody else above that's helping you. There's different things that's coming in in di different ways. They're telling you recognize your blessings in all forms, your manifestations in all forms, you know, and those different things is coming at you where you truly needed it. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Lauren Brandon. Much love to you, Ava Wright. Welcome to the fam lauren uh Gort, uh gorzika i hope i pronounced your name right this this time uh moonai the the philosopher much love to you and coco riley much love as well if you're new to the channel much love to you thank you so much for you know stopping by and showing the support please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me i leave all my contact information as well as my my link to my podcast as well in the description box below 
and is you know if you contact me it's always on a one-on-one -on -one basis you know uh, just for spiritual networking I'm um, just you know there's a lot of times people come to me and ask me about different things that's going on in their life and really want you know the backstory you know why am I going through this what's this and this and that you know it seemed like you got a lot of insight that's coming in and um, or there's different things that's happened in their lives and they're really trying to understand you know is this normal number one don't ever use the, the word the two words normal or crazy because none of those two exist when it comes to us because they ain't nothing is crazy it's just it was it wasn't revealed yet there's almost a lot of different things that goes on in our lives and it's like if it wasn't recorded you wouldn't believe it you know i've had a lot of different times in my life and there's sometimes it's been on this camera and people have seen some crazy mess don't pop off on my videos a lot so uh ain't nothing normal about us but anyways um what 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 was that also i was gonna say oh yeah whatever your manis are i'm sorry mine going crazy going crazy fast miles an hour that's what i'm trying to say got so much stuff going downloads and upgrades coming up uh whatever your manis are is taking place into your life it's gonna come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined it's gonna bring you to your knees i'm going ahead and placing that on your life i'm plotting on your life to have beautiful expectations that's coming in there you truly deserve it you know especially if you've been going through a struggle you know going through a drought god's about to bless you in unimaginable ways so keep going do not give up on yourself and do not sleep on yourself just because other people choose to sleep wake them up you know wake them up and, and don't sleep on yourself and knowing your your stuff is going to come in your blessings are going to come in sooner than you expected them to so um even through social distancing please make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things to really take my a long way and it'll take you as even further as well just because you help them and please be safe and responsible with everything you do you'll see me on my next video god bless peace namaste